We have carried out many experiments on the effect that quite diverse factors have on samples of water, magnetic fields, electrical fields, various objects, and also including a human presence and human emotions. And it became clear that positive and negative human emotions are the strongest elements of influence. Professor Korotkov's laboratory has conducted numerous experiments on the effect of human emotions on water. A group of people were asked to project onto a flask of water in front of them very positive emotions like love, tenderness and concern. Then the flask was replaced with another one and the people were asked to project emotions of a different type, fear, aggression, hatred. After this, measurements were taken on the samples. The water exhibited changes that were clearly in one direction or another. So love increases water's energy levels and stabilizes the water, while aggressive emotions reduce the energy and make radical changes in the water. I hoped to show people that uh, water could have a memory. Dr. Imato's laboratory does research on water samples which are subjected to various forms of outside influence. The impressions made upon the water are recorded by swiftly freezing it in a cryogenic chamber. This is what water heated in a microwave oven looks like. This is the effect of a mobile telephone. Somebody said, thank you to this water. Excuse me. You disgust me. In all the world's religions, Christianity, Islam and Judaism, it is the practice to recite a prayer before taking food or to consecrate the food during major religious holidays. How often do we stop and think, what for? And how did the certainty arise in such dissimilar religions that this is the right thing to do? Why did something that science is only now trying to understand seem obvious to our ancestors? It turns out that the frequency of vibrations in the prayers of any religion uttered in any language is 8 hertz, which corresponds to the frequency of the oscillations of the Earth's magnetic field. Therefore, a prayer pronounced with love creates a harmonic structure in the water that is an ingredient of absolutely all foods. We now have some idea about how this happens through the structurization of water clusters, water molecules. Therefore, we can take some purely practical advice from this. To sit down at the table in a very good mood and under no circumstance to dine with cruel or aggressive-minded people because this will have a direct destructive effect on our health. In 1995, Dr. Emoto Masaru was the first one to record musical impressions on water. In Dr. Emoto Masaru's laboratory, they allowed water to listen to music, after which they flash froze the water. And then, under the microscope, they could clearly see the crystals that the water had formed. Here is what the music of Bach looks like. Mozart, Beethoven, Heavy Rock. Sometimes it's just certain eruptions, emotional ones, which cause such absolutely negative results. I can't recall a case in which such a negative spewing out of emotions as this happened at a classical music concert. Experiments show that aggression causes a sharp change in water's memory. Such water can provoke an aggressive state in hitherto calm people.
Strange as it may seem, evil interacts more easily and simply. Apparently this has to do with the sensitivities of human beings, who always feel negative things more acutely. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then every day for a month, he said, thank you to one beaker. You're an idiot to the second. And the third one, he completely ignored. After one month, the rice that had been thanked began to ferment, giving off a strong, pleasant aroma. The rice in the second beaker turned black. And the rice that was ignored began to rot. Dr. Emoto thinks that this experiment provides an important lesson especially with regard to how we treat children. We should take care of them, give them attention, and converse with them. Indifference does the greatest harm. tell some dreamy story, but almost practice. Practical experience shows that hatred, rage, and even annoyance not only exert a destructive influence on other people, but they also give feedback. This beginning Intellectually, at the level of thoughts, a person who sends negative thoughts is polluting his own water, of which his body is 75, 90% composed, and giving it a negative charge. We have totally undisputable evidence that prayer influences sick people to get better and it has caused absolutely fantastical recoveries, such as the spread of gangrene stopping suddenly in a person who already had it. With holy water, when it's poured over sick animals or a dying plant, they revive. Those are the facts. And no physical chemist currently is able to understand it. They simply can't. January the 18th, it is the eve of the Orthodox Feast of the Epiphany. Two flasks are filled with ordinary tap water. Early in the morning, one of them is set inside the church, near the vessel over which the sacrament of sanctification is to be performed. Every year on January 19th, the faithful and even non-believers hurry into churches to pick up some of the baptismal water. It is believed to possess extraordinary properties. In order to confirm or refute this, the two flasks were taken to the laboratory for study immediately after the service. Here the water was frozen in a cryogenic chamber and photographed under the microscope. The crystals of the tap water looked like a chaotic, diffused spot. While the water that had been in the church had the rectilinear, symmetrical form of a six-pointed star. It is well known that holy water has a very powerful and stable structure. This water can pass on its properties. Take only 10 grams of it and dilute it in 60 liters of common water and the whole amount will have the properties of holy water. Perhaps scientists will tell us sometime what prayer is. Perhaps scientists will tell us sometime what happens with human nature under the influence of divine grace. In my view, what Jesus did represented an informational influence in the water. He acted with his spirituality. 
he acted through higher spiritual powers. And it is now quite reasonable to imagine changing water in such a way that it would become fairly firm. It could be radiation, but could it be only subtle energy? And we are very interested in how subtle energy can be detected by a material.